And we are off for the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 30th of December 2023, the end of the year, well almost, and the last Saturday wrap until 2024. Anyway, if you haven't seen this before, this is my week. The goods, the bads, the health, the tech, the beer, and the Christmas, of course. And it really wouldn't be Christmas without two major things. One, rubbish weather. Two, rubbish bodies. So, yeah, Christmas, it rained a lot. It really, really did rain a lot. It wasn't particularly cold, although there was snow in Scotland. So officially it was a white Christmas, but it did hammer down. Yeah, I'm not keen on that. And secondly, well, I went into it with a cold. And, um, well, on Saturday, nosebleed. In fact, two nosebleeds in Pontypridd, blood all over the place. It was great. Christmas Eve, no problems at all. Everything's fine. Christmas Day, doing the fantasy football, because you have to. Oh, my nose is running, my cold. Oh, hang on. It's all red. Anyway, it took ages to stop it bleeding. And then... It started again and then it stopped again. Luckily, spent most of the afternoon watching For All Mankind Season 4 episodes flat out backwards um, and it stopped. And so far, it's been fine. I don't think there's any problem with the blood because nick yourself shaving and that just heals straight away. I think it's a rubbish nose, but I could be wrong. <laughs> anyway, okay, so on with the standards. The word or phrase of the week compromise things change ah uh, things wear out you want new ones you really want the old ones but sometimes you have to compromise and things sometimes get better yeah i'm talking about podcast devices really but uh yeah you compromise on everything uh and i have a feeling that the year ahead will be Compromise on practically everything. If for no other reason than times are hard. Anyway. App of the week. Um, well, I didn't drink that much because most of the time I was at home, apart from Saturday, met up with Mary. Um, the bunch of grapes where they now brew Otley beers again. Really good. And Wednesday, um, went into Newport, ended up on an 8% DIPA could only have halves um, but to keep an eye on what you're doing an app called drink units on ios not a pretty app it works it's a bit quirky but you can see how much you've been drinking the only thing you need to remember to do is enter the values in sometimes i don't always remember oh yeah and the thing of the week he says as he's scratching his nose nose bleeds yeah and it's only one nostril um, Boy, does it come out. And boy, is it red. <sighs> and if you stick something up it, when you take it out, that causes it to bleed as well. Right, okay. So, the music of the week. Well, as I mentioned, uh, I was in Newport on Wednesday, and I went into Tiny Rebel, and sitting in the corner near to the power supply, and I thought, I need some prog rock. Valentine Suite by Coliseum actually came out in 1969. Wow, really, really good. You need to like your prog though, but I'd recommend it. Really excellent. Anyway, okay, so what happened in the week? Saturday in Ponty with Mary. In the past, we would have been out with Big Tone. Yeah, we still miss him. Anyway, um, she put up with me bleeding twice. We ended up in the Otley. We had a big discussion on about bars in New York. Recommended Untapped. Also recommended another Mary, Mary Jo Foley. And surprisingly, coming home listening to week Windows Weekly, Mary Jo Foley with a beer review. Excellent. Okay, um, also had a festive greeting over Telegram from the chief. Apparently he'd seen one of these. He said, I look a hundred. Merry Christmas, the chief. Where's your dream team? There you go. A Sunday, 
Sunday he was downloading videos and prepping for Squarespace. Uh, my website hosting and the domain name ran out at the end of January. So I'm moving over to Squarespace. I think I've mentioned it before. It looks a lot like creating a page on um, SharePoint, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, and I need to get a discount on it. Um, Christmas Day, well, it was very bloody. Um, but I did have a turkey, and I did have stuffing, and it was relaxing. Um, right, um, on Tuesday, um, a doubt to see me old man and Anne, um, where I came away with homemade pickled onions, and I had a huge plate of turkey and chips, and we just nattered. And it was very good. And I ordered a new backup podcasting device. iPhone uh, SE Series 3, Revision 3, the 2022 thing. And a SIM to go in it. And a case. And an adapter for my 3.5mm headphones. But, you know, there you go. Actually, they all came on Thursday. Um, so, criticising the post office, not really. Uh, the sent off on the Wednesday, delivered on the Thursday. So, thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. Um, Wednesday, as I mentioned, into Newport. It hammered down in the afternoon. I drank beer. I was happy. And the bus was late. It was ever thus, but there you go. Thursday, back in work, collecting my new phone, stroke podcast device, stroke aircraft mode or airplane mode. Friday, back into work again, the last mince pie from the fridge. And also, in the tumble, they've ordered too many mince pies and they can't discount them. Um, it was mentioned about the bog off. <laughs> which is the true spirit of mince pies. Uh, that was my week. Um, Christmas, uh, curate's egg, a mixed bag. Um, comments are very welcome wherever you see this. How are we looking for time? 7.20, way over the five minutes, but what can you do? I'm going to have some turkey now for tea. Uh, bye bye, finds the mouse. <laughs>